Welcome to Steady Diagnosing Solution. My name is Bharat Sharma, and today we talk about closed loop control and uh, open loop control system in high pressure diagnosing. As we see in general, closed loop control is a real time control. There is a constant measurement and potential constant reaction to measurement. And the closed loop control has been used for both short hand and the thermal control in the diagnosing industry. So short hand control system uh, use closed loop control for both speed control and position change. The only concern about using closed loop control is the uh, uh, reaction time, right? If the closed loop control system does not have a uh, reaction time, which includes the reaction of electronic and hydraulic components, that is at least four times less than the desired field time. Here you uh, understand the concern is the reactive uh, react reaction time of this control system is less than uh, you know uh, your uh, even four times less than your uh, cavity field time then closed loop control should not be used otherwise this is because the closed loop system will not have a chance to make adjustment if the field time is too fast relative to the reaction time also if you uh, fast short valve is open more than 70 to 80 percent maximum the die casting machine short end will not have enough power to make a fast adjustment in a closed loop. If you process, uh, if your process and machine meet these requirements, closed loop control will be effective. Otherwise, open loop control uh, system should be used. Yeah. So, closed loop control system uh, require direct control at the measurement point. Uh, thermal closed loop control is not effective because the thermocouple, thermocouple must be some uh, distance away from the heat source. In the case of die temperature, uh, if closed loop control is applied, the die temperature will oscillate. Uh, you can see in your uh, this figure, right? So closed loop control of die temperature. Uh, uh, in this. Uh, figure the wave between uh, 20 and 50 degree Fahrenheit this occurs because the die builds heat when the water control is off by the time that the temperature achieves the set point when the water control turn on there is an, uh, some turbulence of heat in die as uh, the heat travels into the water line the temperature at the thermocouple first rise and then cooling effect will eventually cause the uh, temperature at thermocouple to cool once the uh, uh, thermocouple goes below the sand point and the water line turn off, there is a deficit of uh, heat in a die. So the temperature at the thermocouple continues to drop below the set point until the heat builds up enough to cause the temperature to rise because the die casting process is a thermal process. Closed loop control is usually uh, not a good approach for thermal control, right? So, uh, open loop control is delayed control. Open loop control system is casting machine work in a two ways. First, short end open loop system either react to the uh, result from last shot or uh, uh, from an average of several previous shots. This is offer, uh, this is also called uh, adaptive loop control. For example, a short wall that controls the fast shot phase is open 59% of maximum. This worked well for the last 100 shots, but in the last 10 shots, the average shot speed dropped by 2 inch per second due to some added friction in short and uh, the process tolerance is plus minus 1.5 inch per second. The short system then adjust by 1% to 60% from this 59% on the next shot to increase the short speed. Uh, since open loop or adaptive loop control react on a next shot, right? In closed loop, we we try to uh, uh, adjust uh, within the same shot, uh, right? But in open uh, control system, uh, uh, it will work for next shot, right? It work well for process with fast fill time that are less than four times the short wall uh, reaction time. Second, uh, thermal open loop control system work well in progress that change both the short term and long term often using uh, proportional integrated derivative, right? In short, you can say PID technology. So PID system react in short term by 
uh, pulsing the heating or cooling system in short time period to avoid the uh, sudden temperature wave. PID system react in long term by making sure that the proportion of time that the heating or cooling system is work on to control the temperature accurately. So, uh, this is uh, all about uh, uh, this uh, closed loop control and open loop control system. So, you can easily understand where we have to use closed loop and open loop control system or you can uh, validate uh, your closed loop control system is uh, effective or not for your uh, casting process. So, you can replace by open loop control system. So, thank you. Thank you very much. I hope you will get some uh, or, you know uh, fruitful from this video. So, thank you. Keep learning till that. Thank you very much. Thank you.